everything from keeping you safe to how we get around the metro. Technology is playing a larger part in our everyday lives. To help lead the way is a new chief innovation officer hired by the city to take us into the future. In a story you will only see on 41 Action News, reporter Nick Starling talked one on one with him to find out his plan. Nick. Well, Alexander Brosko says that he's only had the job for about a month and a half and he's hit the ground running. For instance, if you look here at around 13th and Grand Boulevard, there is a docking station for you to have your scooters and bikes over there. And if you pan down, this is a designated area for Uber and Lyft drivers to pick up riders. Our office is there to help better integrate uh, existing and emerging technologies uh, into day to day operations. Uh, within the city. Meet Alexander Brasco. He brings military experience to the job. I was working uh, in the Department of Defense in the U.S. Army and I was integrating uh, emerging technologies, if you like, uh, systems and capabilities into military operations. He'll now switch from military operations to how Kansas City will operate using technology. Here's a few things you'll notice. These kiosks will be more than just inform you where to go for dinner. Providing an uh, ability to do emergency uh, management, notification of emergency messages, whether they're amber alerts, uh, whether they're uh, National Weather Service warnings for storms and, and tornadoes. For transportation, new bus shelters are being built here at 12th and Grand. You'll also see a new bike path along the sidewalk too. There's this shared bike scooter parking hub and a place to call an Uber or Lyft along Grand. And they will monitor how much these are being used using special sensors. We'll look at putting them out here to be able to look at traffic management and curbside, curbside management um, through use of those sensors. The use of drones, Brasco says, could help keep the city safe. We're getting aerial photography. That's great. Uh, it would be great to have real-time access to imagery during a uh, emergency management situation. With 5G coming to the metro, it could be a game changer. It offers a lot of promise, uh, specifically for law enforcement when it comes to latency, situational awareness, real-time. Uh, information that's going to be a, a drastic improvement. It's changes like these some say the city needs to make. Kansas City is not a bad place to live, but it's, it's just a little slower pace than what I expected growing up. While the focus seems to be on downtown, Brasco's goal is to spread this technology citywide. We're only going up from here. Now, with all this technology, Brasco says that people's privacy will be protected. And before any major projects go on, he'll initiate with the public as well to get their input on any new projects as well. And he hopes to have a plan to city council sometime in the near future. Reporting live downtown Kansas City, Nick Starling, 41 Action News. Yeah.